สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. Today I want to show you how you can integrate authentic Thai flavors into non-Thai dishes. We're going to make a corn and bean salsa, which I know sounds very Mexican, but I'm going to use a dressing that's so classically Thai. In fact, it's a basically the papaya salad dressing. Okay, and it's going to work so well with the corns and the beans. And then we're going to put it on some salmon, some pan-fried salmon. But you could theoretically put this on any kind of fish you want. Salmon's not something we commonly eat, but it's becoming somewhat popular in Thailand. So the whole thing's just going to be wonderful and awesome. Just watch. Let's get started. So first order of business, of course, is our main ingredient: corn. Now. Um, I you can use canned or frozen, but I think fresh always has a, a better sweetness. So I just boiled this in water for six minutes, and then I'm just going to cut off the kernels. Now this is going to be more than I need, but that's okay because then I can munch on the rest of it. There are two types of beans that I'm going to use in this dish. And you can just use one. I'm using black beans and long beans, and that's because of color. And also, I like the creaminess of the black beans, but the crunchiness of the long beans. So the both of them together, it's just two is better than one. So just small, small pieces. Oh, I've got a bad spot in this one. There, all better. You can also just use green beans, just a little bit. I do want the corn to be the main star of the show. And everything else, just sort of the friends that come along. In goes to our mixing bowl. I guess I can just put all my corn in there as well. And when we're done, I'm just gonna sort of take a look to see if I want to add more long beans, more black beans. It's a very fluid recipe. If you prefer beans to corn, you can definitely add more beans than corn. Okay. And then black beans. I'm gonna. This is just canned black beans. Just gonna add some in there. But I'm gonna add a little bit more black beans. I think. My secret stash. There you go. Okay, now that's looking good. That's looking balanced. Okay, our next secret ingredient is grapefruit. I love grapefruit in papaya salad dressing. I've made papaya salad many times with grapefruit involved in it because sort of the slight tartness and bitterness. Of grapefruit just works so well with that sweet and sour kind of dressing. So I'm going to segment this, and here's what you do: cut off the top a little bit more and the bottom. Now we're gonna move on to our dressing, and if you've seen the papaya salad video, this should look very similar to that. So garlic and chilies, chilies as much as you want, of course. And I'm gonna get it down to a fine paste, and try not to look at it too much because it might jump into your eyes. Now you can, of course, finely mince everything if you don't want to pound it or you don't have a mortar and pestle. So once there are no big chunks, kind of like that, you're gonna go in with the palm sugar. Now I've got some chopped palm sugar here. I have made this recipe using honey, and it was wonderful. So if you've just got honey on hand, if you want to do that, go for it. Okay. So once most of it is dissolved, like that, go in with the fish sauce, which is our salty. Give it a swirl. And then our lime juice. Always, this is so important that you use freshly squeezed lime juice and not the bottle stuff. Okay, so that's our dressing. That's what we want, and you can give it a taste right now mm. and see where things are at. You can adjust it, but I like to keep the adjustment sort of at the end because once it's mixed with the corn and the grapefruit, it can change things. So I'm gonna leave it there. And before we finish our salsa, before we put everything together, I'm gonna go deal with our fish for now. I've got this beautiful piece of salmon here. You can use any kind of fish. This salsa, the great thing about it is that it just works with any fish, even dense fish like swordfish. You can do halibut. You can do tilapia. Anything will work. Okay. So I'm just using salmon because it's got a really pretty color, and I'm going to salt it because. You don't want the fish itself to be bland. 
And then you can do whatever you want to cook this fish. I'm going to pan sear it, but you can fry it, grill it, steam it, I do, do whatever you need to do to get it cooked. So our fish is done and it is beautiful. So time to finish our salsa. And I didn't want to finish it earlier because if you put the dressing in and then let it sit while everything else is going, the grapefruit would just release, release the juice and then it'll dilute the dressing. So I like to mix it in kind of last minute. And then our grapefruit. Now, see how much grapefruit juice there is in here? I don't want to add that. You can drink it if you want. But if I add that, it will sort of dilute the perfect balance that we've got going on. I mean, you could, and then you might have to go and add extra fish sauce and sugar and whatnot. So our grapefruit is going in there. Give it a quick toss. And now, look how much more beautiful it looks suddenly. Okay, and now we've, we're going to go in with... Um, our delicate herbs, our leafy herbs. Ta-da! I've got um, mint and cilantro. You can get a little creative with it if you want, but I think these two just add such a nice, refreshing quality to this dish. In that goes to our salad. And then the mint, I really like to go heavy-handed with mint in this one. Mm. Just rough chop. Mix everything together. If you want a little more red, you can go with red bell peppers. Add a little more festivity to this party. So I've got our fish here. Oh, I should give this a taste first, just to see if we need to adjust anything. Nope. It's perfect. Okay. So what I like to do is really douse this thing with the salsa. Be really generous. But I usually have a little extra that I like to put out in a bowl as well. So if people want to take some more, they can do that. Save some grapefruit pieces, nice grapefruit pieces, and put it on top. And you could probably use oranges. Um, would probably work. There you go. Doesn't that make you salivate? Mmm! Okay, you can final, put some final garnish on, like cute little mint leaves, like that. Tiny, tiny little one. And that is it. That is, this is now ready to be served either on its own or with some rice. Put some carbs in there, some quinoa would be really good. Let's give it a taste. See, if you sear your salmon on high heat, you get the nice and crispy edges. Make sure I get a little bit of everything. Some grapefruit, that's the important part. Mm. Mm. So good. I wanna just stand here and just finish this whole thing. Mm. It's such an incredible balance between sort of the, the, the freshness of the lime juice and the creaminess of the beans and the sweetness of the corn. And it all just comes together so wonderfully. Please give this a try. I know I say this for all my recipe, but this one in particular, I really mean it. Please give it a try, it's so easy. And it will work on any kind of fish. So the next time you have fish, think about, you know, remember to think about this little salsa. It will change your fish world. So, the recipe is, as always, on hotthaikitchen.com. If you enjoy the show, please click to subscribe so I can keep doing these things for you. I welcome pictures of your cooking on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal.